Georgia G Day has come and gone. Hut, you uh, leave the this big scrimmage impressed by anything? Yeah, I, I thought uh, the defensive line played good. I thought it was good to see some of the 14 new incomers out there. I thought Eric Stokes made a really nice play on the ball uh, on that first drive, the pick six. I think that's what Kirby's wanting to see is some of those instincts kick in for those young DBs where they kind of stop thinking and they just allow their natural athleticism to take over. Um, so I thought the defense kind of shined more, which I, I think in, in a in, – you know, rainy weather conditions out, you know, we all saw that coming, but uh, I thought the defense looked pretty good. Yeah, it's tough to look real good in the yeah. spring game, I think. It's just so disjointed yeah. the way the games normally play. Defensive line, though, I tell you, I like Malik Herring and Devontae Wyatt look like two guys that are ready to help provide some quality depth on this defensive line, which is huge. The cornerbacks you mentioned, Eric Stokes, I was really impressed with Stokes, and also Tyson Campbell looks much improved from a year ago when he was a true freshman. They covered better, playing more physical football, yep. look like they're anticipating the routes a lot better. So I'm really impressed with the cornerback play, and you've got to be able to cover if you're going to beat Alabama with Jerry Judy in that receiving core, or even Clemson with guys like Justin Ross running around out there. That was big. What about the two big name freshmen, Nolan Smith and N'Kobe Dean? Yeah, I thought uh, Nolan Smith was relatively quiet. I mean, he's going up against probably maybe the best left tackle in Andrew Thomas in, uh, in all of the country. So welcome to college football. That's your welcome to college football moment. But uh, I'm sure he's going to get a lot of playing time. You and I have talked about that outside linebacker position. Uh, that's, got a, that's, got a, that's a position of need in terms of production for Georgia this year. We hear that, uh, that word havoc. Kirby was talking about that. That's getting to the quarterback sacks, tackles for loss, interceptions, pass breakups. So... Uh, Nolan Smith, and then the Kobe Dean I thought looked what, looked good as well. It's I think that the tough thing about the spring game is you got the twos going against the ones. So when the ones dominate, you know, are you are you do you, do you do you say oh that's because they're going against the twos or you know so you have to take all those things into consideration and then uh, you know the nasty weather conditions. So I'm just happy when everybody can get away from spring ball healthy. You and I talked about it on Saturday. Clemson had one of their best receivers, I believe, Rogers, go down with the ACL tear. That is, that'll make you lose your hair quicker than anything as a coach. So good to see everybody get out healthy. Uh, if I'm disappointed by anything, it's just not being able to see where wide receiver Demetrius Robertson is at right now. He uh, went down a little sick on Friday, not able to go out there on yeah. Saturday. So the Georgia receivers got to find some of these guys that can come on. Kiaris Jackson, to me, yeah. made a positive impression. Uh, did a good job, and Matt Landers obviously made a, a big play down the field. So tight. still searching for some of these guys to uh, show themselves at wide receiver. A tight end position too, Buck. I mean, we didn't get to talk a lot about that, but I heard Kirby talking about it after G-Day. Boy, did they lose not only a ton of production at the tight end position, but a lot of these guys at receiver and tight end, you forget, they play a lot of special teams. Georgia's always – been really really good and, and they take a lot of pride in putting starters on the field for special teams and uh, so you know tight end position not only in the running game and the passing game but special teams too they've got a lot of uh, production to make up for. Shout out to the George Bulldog fans 52,000 showing up on a cold windy rainy day that's pretty impressive dog fans. G-Day has come and gone in 2019.